Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's the Poodle Mom again with the Tea Toy Poodles. Welcome to the first episode of our three-part poodle grooming series. In this first video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite grooming products. Every single one of them. So, let's dive into it. So it has been two years since I updated the list of things that I use. Not much has changed. I still use Chris Christensen. I did add this new product here though. This is called Augustin Approved Super Bath. I tried this for two years on my dogs. It's an herbal bath that moisturizes and hydrates the skin, cleanses and conditions the coat, revitalizes the coat appearance, and fights bad odor. I can attest 100% that everything that is stated here is true. The reason why I am so obsessed with this is because when I use this, this is the only product that I will use all throughout the bath. Which means no added stuff to put on your dogs like conditioners, sprays, etc. You guys have to give it a try. I will put all the links in the description box below should you wish to try it. And this will be the focus of one of the videos in our three-part series. So look forward to it. Now, I won't dive into this brand too much because I have been talking about them non-stop. <laughs> I think you guys might be too tired of it anyway. But basically, these are my favorite shampoo with Chris Christensen. So I always use this. It's a must-have for me. This is the Happy Ice. I also use this when I use a super bath just to um, wash their snouts and around the tear stain area to be able to rub around it. You can still use that, but personally, I like them thoroughly clean. So I always just use the Happy Ice from Chris Christensen. This one is a tearless shampoo and it's so free. Not to mention, it really smells nice. Next would be my favorite, day to day. These are my ready to use bottles. I do one part of the shampoo with eight parts water. So you save a lot of money for it. And then followed by the conditioner. It's also one part of the product and then eight parts water. And I have been using this product for at least six years. Let's move on to the brushes. We'll go through this quickly. These are oh, my brushes. This is my oldest brush. This was the very first slicker brush that I tried from Chris Christensen. The Mark II small slicker brush. And I still can't live without it. Followed by that, I purchased this steel comb 004 butter comb for poodles. Or it's called a poodle comb or something. And I've had this since the beginning of time. And look, it's still my gosh. Still as good as brand new. And then followed by the Madan pin brush. So Chris Christensen has their own, but personally, I like the Madan better. It's a lot cheaper and I don't know, it just makes the brushing a lot easier. And these are my latest purchases. Well, this was purchased, this was a gift. This is the Chris Christensen Coral Slicker Brush in Medium. Absolutely love this brush. I am obsessed with this brush. And this one for me is a nice to have if you have the extra cash to spare. It's nice to have because it'll speed your, you know, grooming process up. This is amazing with going through like the in-betweens or underneath their um, legs and stuff. The areas where you cannot usually reach with any kind of slicker brush. This is absolutely amazing for that because of how it is. It's a triangle slicker brush. I think that's what it's called. So I basically just have four. I've explained this in a previous video. I'm so sorry for how they look. They're pretty old. So this is the Ice on Ice. I bought this container because this is like a... I think it's a continue... It's called a continue spray squirt bottle. And I usually buy the concentrate to save money. And then one of my favorite dematting sprays now would be the Ice on Ice Ultra. Absolutely amazing when it comes to like crazy, crazy mats. But of course, there's an extra price, price to this. Don't worry, all the products, I'll list them down below for everyone. I'll separate them into the Philippines and international, but specifically Amazon. Because I'm pretty sure most countries have access to Amazon and you can best base the price from there. Next would be the Pure Paws H2O line Hydrating Mist. It's supposedly a, the counterpart of Ice and Ice for the Pure Paws line. But what I don't like about it is that it gets the fur oily, especially for poodles. I think it would be fine for Yorkies because they're, they technically have very silky coats whereas poodles have like teddy bear like fur and I like them all poofy and when you use this, it gets to stick together and then it becomes like an oily, silky, curly coat but some people like that so maybe this is the spray for you but what I do love about this is the smell I use this as my finishing spray to coat their fur when you just coat it, 
on top, like you squirt it above like a mist, it kind of envelops the coat and it helps prevent dust and dirt from getting into their coats right away and very fast. And then next, <laughs> I'm so sorry for how it looks like because it's always the spray that I have in my pocket because you know it's so small, it's so convenient, and it's an all in one. So, why would I bring all these big things when I can have it in one small bottle like this? So, this is NHV's Coco for Care. It's like an all in one detangler, all in one fragrance, natural fragrance, of course, and it's perfect for hot spots. My gosh, when I go to dog walks or hiking, I always have this in my backpack. I have to have this because for any kind of emergency, I use this as my first aid spray. NHB Coco for Care. This is my choice of ear cleaner. It's the Verbac Ear Cleanser, I think. It's available in every single country. I've seen it in China, I've seen it in Singapore, Hong Kong, as well as the United States. I think it's a, an international brand, right? So these are my current obsessions for shavers. So this is my choice of paw shaver. There is no brand, so I am sorry. I cannot recommend the brand. I will see if I can link the store below. If I can, I will definitely share it. But this is what I use for shaving their paws and doing sanitary shaving for my girls. Now this is my choice of nail Dremel as well. It's the same no brand product there. So it looks like this. And you can remove this top part off. It's also wireless and rechargeable and listen to that. It barely makes a sound so the dogs or the cats don't really mind it. So I absolutely love this. What I wish they would have offered would be like replacement for this metal part because this is the one that's used to like uh, file the nails and stuff. But yeah, I have had this for at least two years. Um, I don't I don't know if this is a brand. JW? I got this from an all natural store here. I've had this since my Chihuahua. And look, it's genuine stainless steel. Which is why I think until now there are no rust signs. And then I also have this for when I clean their teeth, of course. It's a lot easier than buying all those toothbrush. This is the bath scrub that you use for humans. I have my own version. The purple one is for the dogs, so I basically just use my finger to brush their teeth. What I use is coconut oil for their teeth. So these set of scissors, I've had these for four years. I got them when I was in the States. It sold as three. Um, it's not bad for, you know, maintenance grooming. This is a curved shear. I think this is 8 inches, if not 7 inches. And then these are chonkers. Oh, I actually know the terms. These are chonkers. And this is just a regular straight shear. What's the brand? Purple Dragon. I, I have linked this brand in the description box all the time. But the problem is, for the last 2-3 to three years, they haven't really restocked. So I'm not sure if they still have it. Now, I recently added to my collection. <laughs> this is so out of character of me, but I decided to finally purchase like professional shears. And I don't understand why I never bought them before. They just, they're so different to the touch and when you use them. So I got this from, I think, New Moon. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the brand. And this is the super curved shear in 6 inches, I think. Absolutely love this for maintaining and trimming their coats. Just to like, you know, keep up with the shape and get the loose fur out. And to shorten it a little bit to extend the time of me not going to the groomer. <laughs> but again, it's a personal choice. I also got this. This is the Total Lunar Eclipse Curved Thinning Shears. I didn't know that there were curved thinning shears. And it's absolutely gorgeous. This is the best when it comes to maintaining the poofed up curved look of poodles. So this container is actually for the purple dragon. It came inside this. And what's annoying is these more expensive scissors, they don't come 
with a bag to protect it like this. It just comes in this plastic for the price that I pay for. Because the price of that whole set is basically a pr the price that you will pay for just one of these scissors. Which is why I honestly didn't think I needed like a curved shear as well as the straight shears because these work perfectly fine but for purple dragon they didn't have these um, amazing curved scissors and the thinning shears um, for those who are looking into getting scissors I wouldn't recommend you guys getting the chonkers because this one gets a lot of coat out it's not ideal for newbies like us like me because <laughs> the first time I used this was during the lockdown and I used it and I <laughs> cut my dogs, my gosh, their fur turned into like teethy, uh, uneven, I don't know what, and it looked terrible. And imagine, I couldn't take them to the groomer for like at least a whole year because, you know, lockdowns and stuff. So, it's funny. For If you're looking to get into scissors, um, get, in, get scissors, just get either the super curve or a curved thinning shears. That's all you will need get microfiber towels they will save you a lot of time when it comes to drying because poodles coats were made to um, repel water so when it absorbs water it really absorbs it some people invest in like those professional blow dryers where it's like a box and then there's like a hose and stuff but i have a very small room with very little space to keep stuff which is why what it, what i decided to do since i also have very thick hair I got the prof a professional blow dryer, but what I use is the, I don't know how to pronounce this, if I mispronounce it, please forgive me, Le Sasha Air Max 8000 Tornado, 2400 watts. I got this from Thailand um, when I flew Kato to Thailand to his family, but he's back now. He's actually here, he's downstairs. Now it only works because I have toy dogs of course I'm not sure if this will be enough to blow dry like a standard poodle maybe a miniature oh maybe I can do like a video for Kato and then last but not the least again you don't need to have this it's just a nice to have I am obsessed with my Dyson handheld <laughs> vacuum I've had this for how many years six years and it's super convenient for cleaning up like loose fur, especially when I trim my dogs. Now you don't have to use this, you can just use whatever regular dryer. You can even sweep it by hand. It's just that I have to be a little bit obsessive when it comes to the fur because of our history of having asthma. So for those of you who may have the sim a similar problem when it comes to that, it never hurts to always be careful. I'm not saying you have to get the Dyson, but find one with a powerful enough um, suction that will ensure that it will pick up the tiny fur of poodles. But again, we're all different people. We have different capacities when it comes to our finances and we can always just give the best we can afford. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the first video. Um, comment down below if you have questions, concerns. And for our next video, we will be featuring the Augustin Approved Super Bath. So once it's ready, it will be posted and linked up here. But in the meantime, feel free to check out the next video.